Oh, what brings you to the event tonight? Uh, well, two things. Clive, da Clive Davis is being honored, and uh, and so that's always a great thing, and I uh, love Clive. And um, also a recipient of the Billboard 100, Power 100 Award. So, you know, here to enjoy, you know, the, the company of good people and, and Billboard magazine. Can you talk a little bit about Pepsi and sponsoring the Grammys? Yeah, so, you know, Pepsi, if you think about Pepsi, it's always been closely associated with music. Um, you know, way back in 1983, you know, with Michael Jackson, uh, you know, leading into Lionel Richie and Madonna, all the way through Britney Spears. And um, so we've had this long legacy of, of being attached to music. You know, now we're trying to go much deeper, and we're supporting artists at all levels. Um, we're supporting Beyonce, and you saw, hopefully you saw the uh, Super Bowl halftime show. She's fantastic. But we're also creating content with her, and, uh, and there are some rising stars around the world that we're starting to support. And so you, you'll see us play a much deeper role in the music industry going forward. So I'm really excited about that. You mentioned the Pepsi commercials, and I know you guys are constantly reinventing yourselves through the era, and I think that's one of the themes for Billboard tonight because they're adapting to the music industry as it happens. How is kind of evolving important to Pepsi? I mean, I think anyone who's going to play in, in, in any industry, but particularly the music industry, if you don't evolve, you die. And right now, the ecosystem for music has, has been completely transformed. And so there's room for non-endemic players like a Pepsi or in other brands. So you'll see recorded music industry, the traditional companies, play a role. But you're going to see brands play a much more aggressive role. And the beauty is that there's room for everybody. And um, you know, I'm really excited about the changes that are happening because I think it's liberated a group of people, the emerging artists, in a way that, that previously could not have happened. They can actually monetize their presence online in the digital space. They can connect with their fans directly. And if you, if you look back 10 years ago, that was not even possible. So to me, these are really exciting times for artists and for brands and for fans. Very true. I, I picked up that scientific metaphor. So what can you say that you are most looking forward to with the Grammys and kind of like this new crop of artists? Wow. What am I most looking forward to? I'm, I'm, you know, I, I'm really excited about Frank Ocean. I think what, what he's doing is, is wonderful. Um, I'm really happy to see Justin Timberlake back after, you know, six years. You know, uh, I got a lot of love for Beyonce and, and she'll be here presenting an award at least. Um, so for me, those will be the highlights. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thanks a lot. Good seeing you. The record companies is lazy, right? So it ain't no infatuation. They lazy and they don't want to work, so they chasing whatever, whoever putting in work. You know what I'm saying? Like, they out here looking at whatever artists got their own thing going on on YouTube.